Hey everyone, welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. So today we've got a drag build and tune for the brand new 2023 Nissan Z. So if you enjoy the video or find it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. So first off, we'll be taking the brand new Nissan Z to the festival where I'll show you how fast it is in a drag race as well as taking it into the festival drag strip race to compete with other cars. Then we'll go into the Horizon Festival Mexico and we'll do the upgrade and tune for it. So lining up at the booths here, we're going to launch this car from about 4000 RPM. Drop there, you get a bit of wheel spin in first gear, but then we'll take off strong by second. Up into fourth, and we'll hold this all the way to the speed trap. And we got a speed of 333 kilometers an hour. All right, so now we're taking our 2023 Nissan Z into the festival drag strip race so that we can see how fast it is against other cars as well as get a time by the end. So a bit of wheel spin at launch here, but we're pulling back by third gear up into fourth. We will have to switch up to fifth by the end of here. We were coming first by a mile. We smashed all the other cars there, came first with ease, and we got a time of 14.6 seconds. All right, so now that we've seen how fast the 2023 Nissan Z is, we'll now take it into the festival and I'll show you how to upgrade and tune it. All right, so first off with your stock 2023 Nissan Z, you wanna come into the custom upgrade menu here and come over to the conversions tab and into engine swap. In here, we'll be putting in the three liter inline six turbo racing engine. Chuck that in there. Then for this tune, we'll be leaving the car rear wheel drive. I'll be dropping another video shortly with an all-wheel drive version of the car for drag racing. So leaving it rear-wheel drive now. Come out of the conversions tab. We don't need to touch aero and appearance for this tune. So we'll come into tires and rims. We're swapping the tire compounds out for the drag tire compound. And we'll be making the rear tire widths as wide as possible for extra grip there. Then we'll be changing out the rims for something slightly more lightweight. You can do whatever you want as long as it saves more weight. So out of the rim styles, then we'll be upgrading the front and rear track widths for a bit more stability. Now if we come out of tires and rims, now we'll come into the drivetrain. So here we'll be doing the race clutch, the race transmission, and also the race differential. So out of drivetrain, now we'll come over to the platform and handling. In here, we'll be putting in the race brakes, as well as adding the off-road or rally springs and dampeners. Then we'll also be putting in some race front and rear anti-roll bars, as well as making the car as light as possible with the race weight reduction. So we can come out of platform and handling now and into the final one, which is the engine. So in here, we'll just be maxing all of these out. So race fuel system, race ignition, race valves, the race turbo and the race engine block. So that's it as far as upgrades go for the 2023 Nissan Z. So you can go ahead and apply all of these. All right, so now that we've upgraded the car, we can come over to the custom tuning menu over here. So first off, I'll be showing you the metric tune and then I'll be showing you the differences for the Imperial tune. And I'll be putting the tune code on screen now. So for the front and rear tire pressures, we want 1.9 bar in the front as well as lowering the rear to 
Next, if we come over to the gearing, we're gonna set our final drive down to 2.50. Come down to there. Then first gear, we'll be setting this to 3.90, just like that. Second gear will be set to 2.55. Then third gear, you can leave at 1.82. Fourth will be set to 1.30. Then fifth, we set this up to 1.10. And sixth to 0.93. Next, we come into the alignment tab. So we're gonna set our front and rear camber angles to zero degrees. Then if we come down to the front cast angle, we're gonna max this out at 7.0. So next we'll come into the anti-roll bars. We're gonna stiffen these up as much as possible. So 65.00 in the front and the same for the rear. Next in the springs tab, we're gonna set our front springs here down to 48.0 just like so. And then the rear ones will be set to 51. We come up a bit to there. Then the ride heights in the front here, we're gonna set this all the way down to 14.8. And then the rears you can leave at 18.9. Next is the dampening. We're gonna set our front rebound stiffness down to 3.8 and the rear down to 3.2, just like that. Then the bump stiffness in the front, we're gonna set this up to 7.7. Then the rear, we're gonna bring this up to 10.1, just like that. So, Finally, for the metric tune is the differential tab at the end. So it's gonna bring our rear acceleration up to 90%. So that's it as far as the metric tune goes. So now I'll show you the differences for the Imperial tune. All right, so as far as differences go for the Imperial tune is you want 27.3 PSI in the front tires and 15.0 in the rear. Then if we come over to the springs tab, you'll want 268.9 in the front, 285.4 in the rear. Then the ride height says you want 5.8 in the front and 7.5 in the rear. So that's it as far as the differences go. So you can go ahead and apply all of these. All right, everyone, so this has been a drag build and tune for the 2023 Nissan Z. So if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe.